All right, guys, what's up? How you doing? Um, I don't get a lot of subscription or subscribers. Don't get a lot of likes, so I'm gonna go ahead, but I'm still gonna keep this going. I'm an older guy, so I want these uh, younger people and people now that are in the dating scene. I'm not in the dating scene right now, but um, I thought this was really important. Michael Jordan, we all grew up, people know about him, but we grew up a time when, you know, we had bunny ears, antennas and stuff, so we'd get anything, you'd watch it all championships he had six rings okay that's amazing now uh what comes to mind when i think about him is um this when i was doing a lot i was walking last night and i was thinking like yeah man he has some really great uh things he's said or you can call it um quotes i guess he can quote he probably said it and you're quoted but i really want people to always remember this okay especially younger people in the dating scene or older okay could be the stupid dumbass tinder bumble match all that bullshit and then go back and like I, we are older guys that we we know how it was old school okay so um we really need to keep this in mind okay and this is about i'm gonna i'm gonna have some here real quick i'm gonna put it on the post too but if i want to say this because some people are just hearing it and they're not going for the post itself so what i'm saying here real quick don't think that you're not good enough if you don't you know, if you don't get a lot of matches and then you lose some after you meet the woman and, you know, maybe they ghost you or whatever one like that, um, just learn from your wins and your losses, okay? You're going to lose some. You're going to win some. I have too. I've won a lot and I'm not, I'm not bragging, but I have and I've also lost, I've lost, you know, some ghost, whatever. You lose them. Just fuck up, man. Keep, keep it going. So, and I, I try to put this in perspective so that you know it's not about you, it's about them. Remember, women are hypergamy. That's what they look for, okay? They're very superficial. So what they finally, if maybe you have a good phone and it's great, okay, let's go meet. So you do, and all of a sudden, you, you have a great talk, you meet them, and then, then they don't call you again, or you, you know, I never call. You do not call them, okay? After the meeting, you let, they can reach out to you, okay? You're a man. Maybe they ghost your ass. Who cares, right? Keep going, okay? So, um, just keep that in mind, okay? It's not about you. It's about maybe you You came off a bad day. You're not a uh, bad work day. You're not, you know, you're not, you were STEM, your, uh, your work clothes. You didn't have time to go ahead and, you know, get on something, get on something nice and all that. You're just not feeling, maybe you had a bad day at work, so you're thinking about that. And you're, so you're not really coming off as you really probably would be. But then also maybe the woman says, oh, boy, you are, you're shorter than I thought, you know, because they're so hypergamy and all this. They're so superficial. So they're the ones that are dating. So, okay, I'm going to start reading some of the things, and you guys go look. Please go look at the post. I really appreciate it. But I'm going to say if you don't do that, okay, I can't accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. Perfect. To learn to succeed, you must first learn to fail. Beautiful. Then he talks about how he's had 9,000 shots, 300 games, and um, I failed over and over and over. And my, but that is why I succeed. He learns. He learned from it. Okay. That's kind of that's what he says here. But I'm not saying exactly. But that's what he said. Um, if you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb, uh, climb through it. Go through it or work around it so you learn, okay? If it turns out that your best wasn't good enough, at least you can look back and say, I was, afra I, I was afraid. You can't look back and say that, um, how's he put it? At least I won't look back and say I was afraid to try. So in other words, he's de he can't even say it. Because he knows, you know, he did his best, okay? I realized that if I was going to going to achieve anything in life, I had to be aggressive. I had to take out there. I had to go out there and go for it. Perfect. I never looked at a consequence of missing a big shot. When you think about the consequence, you'll always think about the negative result. Absolutely. That's what I was trying to say here, okay? Um, I know fear is an obstacle for some people but it is an illusion to me. Failure always made up me try harder the next time. Okay, I'm gonna round it up here. 
If you quit once, it becomes a habit. Never quit, okay? So if you think, and other ones, again, if you, because that last one didn't work out, maybe it was the first time you ever did, uh, had a, you, you met somebody, you never get a lot of matches, but you did, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm never doing that again. I'm, I'm terrible at this stuff. I can't do it. Well, you learn from it. Like he says, you learn from it. I mean, now he's known about the best ever. He is the best, in my opinion. And, but he's also saying, you know what? I've lost. I have lost, but I always win. I mean, I always win by going, you know, learn from that and then moving on and getting better after that. So he never just says, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of that. Think about that. If we didn't have Michael Jordan look back at, man, you know, he's like, oh, fuck it. I'm done, man. I missed a shot. I'm just the worst ever. No, he's the best ever, even though he's had huge losses and there's also some championship he, he did not. But overall, he had six. Okay? Always remember that. MGTOW, all right, red pill. And just keep, keep it on. Keep going, all right?